Welcome back to Miniature Painting with Mike Malice. Today I will be painting and unboxing a Dungeon and Dragons Frameworks Human Warlock. This right here contains all of the pieces that we'll be making up our Human Warlock today. Luckily they provided instructions. A base. Oh, and look, another sprue. Looking for the mold lines so I can sand them off for a smooth finish. Unfortunately this box is in the way and it's a little blurry, but I am gluing together our human warlock. This is what he looks like when he's done. I'm going to use skeleton bone to paint his flesh and hair. Using blue violet for his cowl. For his pants, I'm going to paint them using cobalt skin. Using game ink skin, probably wouldn't use it again, didn't really like it that much. Using Vallejo dark blue for his portal here. Finishing the rest of the sword with demonic yellow. His boots and shoulder pads get gun metal. and the sword handle.
using Morophane Brown to paint the bag and the sword handle. Using mummy robes again to paint the bird. I use a brown wash for several areas, including all the leather, the bird, the bag, and his pants. Dark tone for the cowl. Also put in the dark tone on the portal here. Start dry brushing with Game Effects Rust. On top of that, I start dry brushing red. I finish it off by dry brushing some black for smoke, and then I move on to stippling the cowl. I'm just trying to progressively make the highlights brighter here while stippling. Try brushing the portal with Void Shield Blue. I add a brown wash to the bottom of the coat to simulate some dirt and debris. I'm trying to striate and highlight the pants for a more leathery look using shining silver to edge highlight the boots and the shoulders. Didn't feel like the pants were leathery enough, so I hit them with Dark Oaf Flesh. I highlight the bag and the handle of the sword on the back with Fur Brown. Ooh. 
also with fur brown I kind of dry brush the black leather and make a worn leather look. I use green skin to highlight the band around his leg. I paint the shield on the base gunmetal and then highlight with shining silver. skeleton using skeleton bone. I use fur brown for this little stick and I use mummy robes for well the robes on the skeleton. Put glue on the base and submerge him in sand. I use dark oath flesh to give the bottom a base paint. dark red to dry brush a OSL effect. Unfortunately I was unable to get the blue footage so just imagine me doing the same thing over there with blue. I quickly add on a little bit of an orange highlight and then I move on to adding the block. Overall I tried a lot of new stuff with this guy. Some of it was successful other stuff I was less than happy with. I don't know though. What do you think? Tell me down below. Like and subscribe. And maybe hit that bell notification. Thanks for watching and have a good day.